Elect Donald Trump's transition to his second term. On Capitol Hill this week, an effort is underway to bolster Republican support for one of Trump's more controversial cabinet picks, Matt Gates for Attorney General. There could also be a battle ahead for some of Trump's other picks, including his choice for Secretary of Defense. Christian Benavides reports from West Palm Beach, Florida. President-elect Trump is rapidly naming his cabinet picks while celebrating his resounding election victory. Won the White House, recaptured the Senate, and now, as of today, recaptured the House. Trump is the first Republican to win the popular and electoral vote since George W. Bush did it in 2004. I will never stop fighting for you. Saturday morning on his social media site, the president-elect posted this video calling this month's election the greatest political comeback in American history. Later, Trump announced he is nominating Chris Wright as his Secretary of Energy and a member of the newly formed Council of National Energy. Wright is CEO and Chairman of Denver-based Liberty Energy. To push through his cabinet choices, President-elect Trump has called for recess appointments so his nominees, including controversial ones, can bypass the Senate confirmation process. Trump's team has responded to sexual misconduct allegations against Pete Hegseth, Trump's choice for Secretary of Defense, defending his qualifications and noting that Hegseth has vigorously denied any and all accusations. And Trump's choice of Matt Gates for U.S. Attorney General is also raising concern among Democrats and some Republicans. Gates was once the subject of a federal sex trafficking investigation. Fortunately, that's why we have the Senate advice and consent process. After his nomination, the Florida Republican gave up his congressional seat this week, blocking at least temporarily the release of a House Ethics Committee report. The report looked into allegations Gates was involved in sexual misconduct with a minor and illicit drug use. Gates denies any wrongdoing. Christian Benavides, CBS News, West Palm Beach, Florida. We're learning more about another person President-elect Trump is wanting for his new administration. CNN is reporting that Trump is considering naming Cash Patel to lead the FBI, adding to Trump's growing list of controversial picks. Patel, a fierce Trump loyalist, has made a number of statements saying if given the chance, he would go after Trump's enemies. We will go out and find the conspirators, not just in government, but in the media. Yes, we're going to come after the people in the media who lied about American citizens, who helped Joe Biden rig presidential elections. We're going to come after you. Patel has also made statements about shutting down the FBI Hoover building on day one and reopening it as a, quote, deep state museum. If the president-elect does appoint Patel, he would have to be confirmed by the Senate.